All right, hey guys, it's Chris here again with another video. In this video today, we are looking at the Kmart in Parsippany, New Jersey, right off of US Route 46 West. And as we all know, Sears Holdings announced back in August of 2017 that they would be closing an additional 20 Kmart stores. So we're looking at the Kmart right here. It opened up in 90, 1998, and it's expected to close on November, uh, sometime in November 2017. I'm not sure when the final day is yet. But as you can see, the garden shop lost its decline. Probably a couple years ago, they closed it up, and then this Kmart right here is closing. So, again, guys. Um, so my so a shout out goes to Maniac for Bricks for allowing me to use. So which I'm about to roll next is his clip of Kmart in Parsippany. So again, guys, thank you again for letting him to allow me use his clip. I basically told him about my infamous Lodi Kmart incident, and uh, he seems pretty he seems pretty interested in it. Um, but anyways, guys. So now I'm going to go ahead, uh, stop the video, and I will roll you guys the clip of, um, of his, of, of his uh, video in Kmart. So anyways, guys, thank you for watching, and enjoy. Hello, everybody. This is Maniac for Bricks, and welcome to CART, or K-Art, if you may. This is the Kmart in Parsippany, which I've done a video on a while ago, about a month ago from recording this one. And now, I've seen that it has a store closing sign, even on the side of the road. It was saying everything must go. So we're going to take a look around and see if anything else has been depleted. We've touched upon the garden center being completely wiped out, as well as several shelves around that area. There's also been a whole bunch of cleared sections last time, and it had a summer blowout when we were last here. I also want to mention that the pharmacy was closed down uh, when we were last here. So let's see what remains, and hopefully there's something good to find. So you've already seen around here, the cells are still pretty well stocked. But what interests me is the fact that there are still new products that came in. This was only within the past month or so, I believe, as far as release in most places. So it must already be at 25% off.
So as we can see from my quick walkthrough, everything pretty much is intact. It's the same as I've seen it last time I was at Kmart, only about a month ago. And only this time it's had a couple more things for the season, such as back to school items and now Halloween items. Plus the summer stuff has already been taken out. And sadly, it's kind of in disarray. With that being said, I still kind of wonder about the other chains that are around me for Kmart. If they're going to be on a closing spree as well. It's kind of sad for this one because it was once regarded as a big Kmart. As in it would be able to hold a lot of inventory and sell a lot of it as well. I'm going to give a quick look at the garden center again from the outside. Where you can see it's almost bare. Only a couple of racks. Some of those pillars. I know they're called something else. Pallets, I believe. But there we have it. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe at some point we'll even get to see it fully closed. I've only noticed that they've had up to 30% off on any given selection of items. So that's probably why there's still a lot of it remaining. People are probably waiting around until it drops even further. Maybe 60 to 75% off. But at that point, everything's just going to go pretty quick or just be thrown out. Unfortunately, I don't think a lot of the food is going to make it, and I hope that some of the extra items are donated. So, there we have it. I'm back on the road, and I'll talk to you later. So here's something else I found interesting before we head off. I saw that this used to be the intersection where a Burger King would lie. This is on Baldwin Road, crossing over Route 46 in Parsippany, roughly right after the Troy Hills Mall. What I've noticed earlier today, I'm sure that you could see this for yourself for better clarity, or I can pass by it again in the daytime, is that the Burger King not only closed, but has been demolished, and only the parking lot has been used by a couple of people for other activities around this area. There is a banner outside that I read earlier that said that a coming soon will be a Starbucks. So there's going to be something else here, and I figure that they probably want to make it in the style of Starbucks instead of just working out of a Burger King. So it was an interesting thing to see when passing by the road before, and I just wanted to make a note about it here. P.S. On a side note, as we're passing the Troy Hills Mall, I just wanted to make a note that I've been to the path mark there before when it was closed and got as close as I could to the windows. I'd like to make a note that now I'm seeing some sort of trailer near there and a lot of the parking lot surrounding it is blocked off. You can still get around in that parking lot for all the other businesses, but for path mark specifically, it is all gated. It makes me wonder if they're just going to demolish it and build something new or if they're just going to take out whatever it remains inside and leave it for abandoned. I mean, if the rest of the mall is still doing well, maybe there's something that will take its place. Okay, so now that you guys have seen the video, let's now go ahead and take a true in-depth tour of the video. So let's go ahead and play it. Hello everybody, this is Maniac for Bricks, and welcome to CART. So welcome to CART. So already you can see that it's a great introduction. So already I'm really starting to like uh, Maniac for Bricks' wonderful introduction, CART. Welcome to CART. Yeah, the Kmart should just change your name to CART. Welcome to CART, everyone. K-Art, if you may. This is the Kmart in Parsippany, which... So, pretty much, Parsippany is a town located in New Jersey, right off of U.S. Route 46. Um, if you guys don't know where that is, it's somewhere between Morris and Essex counties. Um, it's about, I would say, maybe 20 or 30 minutes away from Bergen County, which is where I live. Um, so, anyways, let's continue. I've done a video on a while ago, about a month ago from recording this one. And now, so about a month ago, so pretty much he's been here before. This is this was probably his last video before the store went. Um, so let's continue. Seeing that it has the store closing sign, even on the side of the road, they're saying everything must go. 
So everything must go pretty much as you all guys know. That means the store's closing. Take a look around and see if anything else has been depleted. We've touched upon the garden center being completely wiped out. You know, that's crazy of how a garden center can be completely wiped out in a Kmart store. Ironically, I mean, I, I guess the relationship between the garden companies and Kmart didn't work out so well. And that's probably why they had to close down the whole garden center. Apparently it worked out for Walmart, though, that's for sure. As well as several shelves around that area. There's also been a whole bunch of cleared sections last time. And it had a summer blowout when we were last here. I also want to mention that the... Now, ironically, but this Kmart opened in 1998, which is about... It's a 19-year-old store, so ironically, this store isn't that old. It's not as old as the one in Lodi, which opened up back in the 70s. So, this was a newer store at the time, I guess, and I guess it just didn't work. See, it was closed down uh, when we were last here. So, let's see what remains. And... You know, I absolutely love this shot of this sign. I, I, I know I'm pausing the video, but that's going to happen. So I love the shot of this sign. So it says cart. I love how their I love how their maintenance is already starting to go. So they're not even going to replace that M now because the store is closing. So now we'll call it the cart of Parsippany, New Jersey. Play there's something good to find. So obviously you can see here that he cuts his that he cuts his camera and immediately starts rolling as he goes into the store. This is, I think, a tactic that I need to start using when I document stores, is to not give away the entrance and start filming when you get inside. So pretty much, as you can see, it's in the beginning, so it's probably not going to be closing until later this month. But you can see that the signs are 10 to 30% off. You can see the big the line of the store and all that other great stuff. So let's keep playing for a little bit. So you can see right when you walk in, there was like there was back right back there there was clearance. So right already there's clearance and 10 to 30 percent off, which is not good, ironically. Interestingly, and I uh, let me hold on, pause it. Interestingly enough, the carpet in this store is a little bit the same to Sears, and I I hate to say that because some of the Sears and Roebuck stores had this brown carpet and then they had the blue carpet. So it's kind of a factor that they both share, obviously, but we don't know about that merger back in 05 and 06. So as you can see on the left right here on that shirt, it says 30% off. So pretty much right now, anything in the store um, as of October 23rd, but it's not October 23rd, it's now November uh, 3rd. Um, so everything is 10 to 30% off. So they're just beginning the closing sales from, from this video. Again, you can see how Kmart was using their advertising for the denim section. That actually does not look half bad for a sign. And then obviously back there, there's some more clearance. Nothing special. This is probably, probably going to be the best shot right here. So nothing held back. Everything tend to, at least 10 to 30% off and everything must go. And some more clearance signs back there. That's probably going to be the best shot in this video of that sign. So from what it looks like to be here, it's uh, all that other stuff. It looks like some old diapers and stuff. Nothing special. Again, just some more inventory and clearance and stuff, as you can see right here. Some hangers and stuff, some boxes. Nothing special, really. Old supplies and an ominous door, which I don't know which what leads to. This looks like the kids' section, I think. Oh, and here's a great shot of the store again. Those are all those 10 to 30 percent off signs right there, um, and this looks like this looks like a fitting room right here in the middle of the store. This store, ironically, isn't that big. Um, it's it's a decent size, I guess. Oh yeah, so this is the boys section. So here's the corner of the store. So it looks like fitting rooms, more kids on the right. But yeah, it's really interesting how this store comes together. So it looks like in the back corner right there is the infant toddler section, which they mix in with the toy section. 
Now Kmart has a huge selection of toys. It's like it's like their own version. It's like their own version of Toys R Us. But that's like that's like with any store, Walmart, Target. They're all gonna have the same thing. Again, there's a shot of it, and then it's and then this is on the left here. It's all men's, and on the right, it's toys. Up oh, and here he is in the toy section. So you've already seen around here. This so he'll go on about the Legos and stuff. So I will go ahead and and let him have this section of the video since he's in since he's all about uh, bricks and stuff. So I will let him have this section of the video. Are still pretty well stocked. Ironically, the Legos look like they're twenty five percent off, which is not bad actually. But now I'm going to give this clip part to him. But what interests me is the fact that there are still new products that came in. This was only within the past month or so. Yes, ironically, came, Le Lego is still giving Kmart uh, new products, which ironically is very ironic because Sears itself right now isn't doing too great. I believe, as far as release in most places. So, it must already be at 25% off. Okay, so it looks like he skips ahead here to more clothes, obviously. Some shoes and stuff. Um, okay, so yeah, he's we're just getting out of the toys. Okay, so now we're on to the outdoor stuff. Very interesting. Um, yes, it looks like uh, bins and stuff. Oh, this is the electronics department, okay. Oh, we're in appliances now, okay. Um... So yeah, a lot of appliances, 25% off. It's just the first round of sales. I'm sure as the days go on, it'll go more and more. I don't want to keep pausing the video because it's going to take up more time, so I'm just going to keep talking over his video. Um, but anyways, so yeah, this is pretty much the rest of the store. You can see that there's more appliances here as well. Looks like some kayaks, which is very interesting. And 20 looks like they're 20% off. Looks like some outdoor chairs, 20% off. Uh, bikes, 20% off. Not that many bikes, though. But obviously, it's a closing, so yeah. And here's a corner of the store. You got some more pools and stuff. The pools look like they're 25% off. Um, some supplies, it looks like. Um, some outdoor supplies. It looks like, what do you have here? I hate to pause it on him. Just a little moving just a little bit too fast here. Um, looks like some outdoor supply, uh, cleaning supplies. It looks like they're all 20% off. Um... So again, some appliances and stuff like coffee makers, some craftsman stuff, and I know Sears is now letting craftsmen sell some other stuff. Uh, some indoor furniture, which is 20% off, um, and some carpets and stuff. Looks like some gardening stuff, some stuff for the backyard, patio furniture. It looks like, can't really tell, I'm going to guess it's 20% off most likely. Um, but yeah, now he's moving to the front of the store. And we and he is on to the now uh, the food department, which ironically Kmart yes sells food ironically. Like Kmart, literally Kmart is the last place you'd want to go for food. I mean, honestly, who who goes to Kmart and buys their groceries? I mean, come on, it's it's 2017, people. Um, but I guess some people still do it. Now this is very weird right here. I hate to go back on the video right here. So this whole so this whole section right here with this door is open, but this door right here leads out to the garden center. Now I'm guessing at one point there probably was more gardening supplies here, but I guess now that that's closed and you can see that there's a cone right there in front of the door. Let's see if he can actually get outside. I'd like to see I would like to see him get outside. Looks like some more stuff. This was probably more the gardening center, which is sadly now being used as supplies. It looks like some old shelves and stuff. I mean really to to waste space like this, I mean, you should just throw it out. Why, why, why even keep it? You know, why even keep it? What a waste, honestly. Let's see if we can get outside. Probably not. No, yeah, no, that door's locked. And they put a cone in front of the other one too. They probably didn't want people stealing. Pretty smart, actually. Pretty smart for Kmart for cart. That's for sure. I'm calling this now cart. Uh, again, some drinks and stuff. Ten percent off on drinks. And I don't know that. I think that's kind of stupid. I, I don't know anyone that would go to Kmart to get 10% off on water. I mean, come on. You go to Walmart for that, honestly. <laughs> I 
It's sad, but it's true. I mean, bags of chips, like, like this is the stupid stuff now. I mean, who, who comes to Kmart and buys bags of chips? I mean, come on now. Yeah, look at this, 10% off. Why? You know, just, just, why? Why 10% off? Oh, okay, so now we're on cleaning supplies. Something else you can get at Walmart. Uh, plates and, and dishes and stuff. Looks like some more tools. Uh, supplies and stuff, I guess, for the bathroom. Um, and then right over here is the pharmacy department, which closed, I believe, a month ago, according to this guy. Um, some more cleaning supplies and stuff. So they, they just covered it up. They just covered it up. Ah, here we go. So yeah, that's the pharmacy right in there. And it's telling people to go to the Walgreens in... It says Walgreens. The pharmacy is now Walgreens. So it's telling every Kmart customer now to go to Walgreens. Yeah, Kmart did pharmacy too. Kmart just did everything, honestly. They were they were like Wal they were like Walmart, and then Walmart just killed them. Pretty much. I mean, yeah, it's it's sad, but it's true. But yeah, I mean, it's really sad what's happening. And you know, you got some more. It looks like some more tools and stuff. Some gift wrapping paper. Um, it looks like some notebooks and stuff. So just like little stuff. Like for now, this is like looks like the party aisle. A couple of cards, but I mean, you know, why why would you come to Kmart for cards? I don't know. These guys really have failed, honestly. And it's it's sad, but it's true. They really have failed. Um. So, anyways, here he is. So, let me get a shot of that. So this Kmart only had about eight registers. Now, and I hate to pause the video right here. Now think about it. Kmart has eight registers, and at Walmart you find about ten to twenty cash registers. If Kmart turned around and had a better plan, they would not have just eight registers. They would have a lot more than just eight registers. But because Kmart wasn't is not profitable, they cannot make more registers. So there's only eight registers, and Walmart has like twenty or thirty registers. Costco has even Costco has even more. But anyways, so let's keep going here. So again, more 20% off stuff. He probably went at night when it was off peak, which is probably a good time to go and document a store because barely anyone's working yet. It looks like only two registers are open. All sales are final. No returns, everyone. 15 short minutes. So he, he, he definitely timed it right, that's for sure. Definitely. I, I think the best time to go is at night when no one gives a crap. Literally. You know what? I'm actually surprised that this lady did not yell at her. I'm honestly surprised that that lady did not yell at him. I'm honestly surprised about that. Really, I am. Honestly. Parsippany Kmart. They should have said Parsippany Cart. So this was a very interesting store. Um, I really didn't do it. I mean, I did some talking, but I didn't do a whole lot of talking. So as we can see from my quick walkthrough, everything pretty much is intact. It's the same as I've seen it last time I was at Kmart, only about a month ago. And only this time it's had a couple more things for the season, such as back to school items and now Halloween items. Plus the summer stuff has already been taken out. And sadly, it's kind of in disarray. With that being said, I still kind of wonder about the other chains that are around me for Kmart. If they're going to be on a closing spree as well. It's kind of sad for this one because it was once regarded as a big Kmart. As in it would be able to hold a lot of inventory and sell a lot. That's why it has groceries then. So there's my answer. Because I remember big Kmarts, they were, they were like... Big Kmart's were pretty much like Walmart super centers. If you, I mean, it was the same. It was the same crap. If you could think about it, Big Kmart's were pretty much Walmart super centers where they had everything. So Big Kmart, you had everything that you could think of, but and and super center Walmart, you could have everything you think of, but in a much more modern and efficient space. So that that to me is the very similarity. So unfortunately. This Kmart is going out of business, and uh, yeah, so we'll let uh, we'll let uh, my friend Bricks close off the video.
of it as well. I'm going to give a quick look at the garden center again from the outside, where you can see it's very interesting little garden center, but I'll let him talk to the rest of this. Almost bare. Only a couple of racks, some of those pillars. I know they're called something else. Pallets, I believe. But there we have it. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe at some point we'll even get to see it fully closed. I've only noticed that they've had up to 30% off on any... Fully closed. That's what I call a this is Dan Bell moment. I love Dan Bell. He's really good, actually. Really good guy. ...selection of items. So that's probably why there's still a lot of it remaining. People are probably waiting around until it drops even further. Maybe 60 to 75% off. But at that point, everything's just going to go pretty quick or just be thrown out. Absolutely. Unfortunately, I don't think a lot of the food is going to make it. And <laughs> yeah. I hope that some of the extra food. items are donated. Came more food, man. So there we have it. I'm back on the road, and I'll talk to you later. So here's something else I found interesting before we head off. I saw that this used to be the intersection where a Burger King would lie. This is on... All right, so we can go ahead and stop it. Anyways, guys, thank you again for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, you can see that little... You, you guys will see that last little segment in his original clip. Um, anyways, guys, thank you again for watching this video. It's really sad to see this Kmart go. Um, but again, it's really no loss. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you for watching. That's it.